Mr. Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbeagly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagly, and I'm once again playing another random one-shot from over here on lag.com. This is a game simply titled Line Puzzle, and in this, I guess what we do is we take these pegs, and we have to try to match a design with the pegs and lines that are they're attached to, to a goal design. We basically have a goal that we have to make our shape into. So, sounds pretty simple, sounds pretty fun. These are my favorite types of games to just kick back with and relax a bit. So, let's Let's go ahead let's continue and play so we got a huge number of levels from the looks of it holy cow this is a ton of levels holy shorts that is a lot okay well i guess we got a lot of cracking to get doing then let's go ahead let's crack some of these puzzles all right so with this what we do is i guess we take the lines and we drag them to make the shape that we see up above so this one is going to get dragged down from the middle and there we go. That's a match. That's a perfect match. Nice. Okay, I like this. This is cool. This is very simplistic. Very easy from the looks of it. Okay, maybe not so much anymore. Now, can we drag multiple parts of the line together? So, we bring that one up to make the first top line of the Z. And then if we pull this one, if we pull the line from the middle... Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. All right, yeah, so you can actually stretch each line as far as it needs to go with the new pegs. That's actually pretty intuitive. That's a lot more intuitive than I thought it was going to be. All right, so this one we make like a baseball diamond looking thing. Drag from the middle here, drag from the middle here, and boom! Easy peasy. All right, not so bad. I'm flying through these. So there's a ton of levels because the beginning ones are a little bit easier from the looks of it. This one's a big old capital D. Easy. And uh, you just fly through them pretty quick here. So I might even, if I'm really good at this, maybe I'll even run out of uh, of stages. Okay, so this forms the basic shape. But we need to do it here. And then bring this one here, I think. Yeah, okay. Awesome. So that did fit that. It's a nice little rhombus style thing. All right. This is like the shape of a barn. Man, I like this. This is super chill. This is really, really chill. I haven't messed up yet, but I'm assuming that just restarting one of these levels is pretty easy. I haven't seen any sort of timer. It's giving me three stars at the end of each level, so maybe there's a star system based on how fast I am. But overall, it doesn't seem like it's too breakneck or anything like that. Okay, I think we do that for that one, right? And then we... Yeah, two parallel things. Okay, that one was a little bit harder to conceptualize, but we managed to do it. Managed to complete it. Not too shabby, not too bad. Feeling good about this. Oh, this one's easy. Just old big old diamond here. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, that one was even, even easier than the last one was. Pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, this one's going to be... I, I like it because the solution up top shows you like how many pegs things need to be. So almost by process of elimination, you can sort of like figure out what needs to be done. Oh, wait, no, nope, no, nope, we don't want that. Uh, did we want that? Is that what we wanted? No. Okay, so now I think I messed up. I think what I need to do is, okay, yeah. So this center button in the middle here that looks like a redo button or undo button, that is an undo button. Okay, so what if we do... Oh boy. All right. What? Yeah. What if we do this? Okay. Make a backwards N and then move this there and then move there, there. Yes. Okay. So sometimes it's like you sort of have to deconstruct it in your head and pull things uh, in the way that they will line up like almost right. And then you sort of like make micro adjustments from there. So that's the way to do it. So this one is the entire length of the board long. Oh, and this one's like way easier than the last one. It's funny because there's like varying difficulty with this game so far, which is fine. I like that. I like that. It keeps me on my toes. It keeps me ready. It doesn't make it just some like lame, sleepy puzzle game. Like this is low key. Don't get me wrong. This is calm and low key, but it's relaxing and it feels good when you actually get by these challenges. It's very challenging. I like that. Oh, I like that too. That was just like a quick little cross in the middle there. Just had to pull both to the middle. I like that you also, you don't move the pegs themselves. You place new pegs by dragging from the line. So I'm dragging from the center of the line and I can place the peg wherever I need it. And that makes it really intuitive and easy to do. Uh, it makes it very creative and open. All right, this one, okay, just in the middle. Easy hourglass. 
Oh man, I love this. I'm having a blast with this. Like I said, it's the perfect amount of challenge. Uh, and at the same time, it's still like nice and chill. I feel accomplished, but at the same time, relaxed. But not like I'm being babied by the game. And that's a good combo right there. All right, so move this one here. Yeah, okay. Move this one here, this one here, this one here, and this one there. Oh yeah, that one I thought might screw me up a little bit, but what I was conceptualizing in my head ended up being the solution. That's the best, that's the freaking best. Okay, this one, all right, three blocks tall. Oh, that one's pretty easy as well. Okay, I, like I said, I like that the solution is up top so that you can just make comparisons while you're doing it. So this one is gonna be four blocks long. So we're gonna need to bring those up there. And then once again, by process of elimination, you get the solution most of the time just by dragging like the corners of each shape. I, I find that's the easiest is you get the corners of each shape. You figure out how many blocks long each line is or pegs long the line is. And then from there you can just, you can make your adjustments and fix things Super easy like that. That one looked super strange. Really complicated. Wasn't complicated at all. This one on the other hand, this is a big F. And hopefully it doesn't make me take the F. Nope, it doesn't look like it will. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna get that big W if anything. Okay, this is like a candy wrapper looking thing. Okay, how are we gonna do this one? I think here, yep, okay. Not as hard as I thought. Just take the little line, drag that inwards, boom. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, this one we move down here. And then this just goes up here, I guess. Yeah! Okay, some of them are literally seconds. Just a couple seconds. You fly through it, and then you got your answer. You got your win. You feel good about it. Uh, this one, ooh. Yeah, how are we gonna, okay. Oh, there we go. And by process of elimination again, that one just dragged that center bar of the A in there for me. Okay, simple, simple stuff. Really simple stuff, honestly. Flying through these two. I gotta be getting kinda close to at least the end of like the first batch of, uh, of puzzles. I might even be past those. And I like that you can place pegs on top of already existing pegs too to make like straight lines or certain angles, anything that you need. You just sort of like figure out as you're playing it. Uh, so this one. Maybe do, yeah, stretch that out there and stretch that out there. Okay, simple. Okay, let's see, uh, actually, let's go use the home button. Hit play, continue, that's fine. See how many levels we've done. We've done 25 levels, so there's 60 total. Whoa, and it feels like I've done a ton of these. I mean, technically I have, 25 is nothing to scoff at scoff at in the amount of time that I've been playing this, but at the same time, there's so many more levels, there's so many more challenges on the horizon. I really like that a lot. That makes me really happy because I can see myself trying to beat all 60 of these off camera here because this is, once again, just one of those games that kind of makes you feel good about yourself, makes you feel accomplished, makes you feel like what you're doing is using your brain, but you're still playing a video game, so it's like fun as heck, and that's awesome. Okay, so this one is a very strange shape. Uh, but I think I think what it does a lot of the times is it sets you up with these really complicated looking shapes, but they have some of the most simplistic answers ever. It's almost like to psych you out a little bit, but then it turns out that they're really not as hard as they appear. A lot of them are just like one, two, <laughs> like I've had a couple that are just two moves and that's the best. That makes me the happiest is to deal with those ones. Okay, for this one, this one's a little bit harder because on this one, there's like the base. Ah, there we go. We have to make it, that one, see that, those ones where you expand the shape out a lot more, those are a little bit harder to conceptualize because uh, you have to use like the whole length of the board and that's not always 100% possible in my brain. Granted, I'm not the smartest guy out there, but the fact that I'm able to figure this out means that any of you guys watching right now absolutely can as well. You guys can definitely do a good job at this. Some of you are probably even faster than me at this game. But moving on through here, we gotta be close to halfway done uh, with all the levels. Like, we have to be pretty close here. All right, boom, boom. Oh, that's cool. That was a cool design. I like that one. That was like a big X. Very, very cool. Okay, so this one, move it there. It's like a P. 
Okay, so the P can go there and then bam. All right, yeah. Only a couple moves on that one too. That one was another one that just looks so complicated and it ended up being much more of like a psych out test. Oh, that one's a cool design too. That looked almost like wings or like an open book, something like that. I don't even know. I don't even know what most of these designs are. All I know is they look cool as heck. All right, boom, flying on through. I think I'm only gonna do a couple more guys with the time that I have for this video. But uh, yeah, you guys should definitely try this out. Give yourselves some relaxation. You've earned it. Uh, just know that, you know, this is the type of game that looks a lot more daunting than it actually is. It's so simplistic. Anyone can pick this up. Oh, as I say that, this is easily the most complicated, weird looking one that I've done yet. But once again, just look at the, look at the design that's up top. Look at that design that's up top. And then from there, figure it out. Figure it out. It gives you the spread. It gives you the solution. It gives you the spreadsheet right there. Everything you need to know about like the blueprint of the design that you're working on. That's all it is. And then all it comes down to is picking the right line to move so that you can create a new peg. Nice. Okay. Uh, this will be my last one. I think here guys, I'm going to just do this giant uppercase K simple. That one was two moves. That was excellent. And then we can go back home again. We can see how many we've done. We've done 40 of the puzzles. So I got you guys two thirds of the way done here. You just got the last back end of 20 to do. So I'm sure you guys, you're smart. You're a smart bunch. You can figure it out yourselves. I look forward to the comments down below, letting me know if you've beaten all 60 levels. This is once again, one of those simple games. It seems so calm, relaxing, and just like almost too simplistic. But at the same time, you look at some of those solutions and you're like, how the heck am I gonna do that? So you got the moderate amount of challenge. Also with that feeling of accomplishment for overcoming those challenges and the nice calm relaxing time at the same time perfect combo one of my favorite types of games hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of me playing it though if you did please 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 check out this game over on lag.com and as always it was great seeing you bye bye